that that leads us nicely into the next topic, which is looking forward. Everything within the 49ers offense builds upon itself, right? Everything yep. is is a an iteration of something else. And being able to do multiple things out of the same look is is a staple to the Shanahan offense. And so it's fair to wonder if what we saw in the vanilla game plan was as a result of the inability to run the ball early and that sort of dictating then the offense just not being productive for the remainder of the day. Therefore, Shanahan not feeling confident enough to go into his bag of tricks and really get creative. So that begs the question of what we will see on Sunday. And and I think I know the answer to this question based on uh, some of the things you said in the preseason about the matchup against Green Bay. But do you feel the 49ers will be able to run against the Green Bay Packers? Yeah, I so I felt like they would legit go for 300 yards in this game. You know, when Mostert was healthy and some of those other guys, I, I thought it would be a bloodbath out there. They would blow Green Bay out and it would be because of that run game. And Green Bay is not any better against the run than what they were. I want to be clear about that. But the circumstances have definitely changed. Yes, they Is have. Sermon going to play? Now, he was limited. That's a good sign. Usually, you're not limited if you're in a concussion protocol, if you're not going to see that through. So that was a good sign. But he's the only back out of the five that were on this roster, six really, that were on this roster preseason, that is healthy right now. Wild. Is Mitchell going to play? I, I would assume that he does. If Mitchell and Sermon play, I still think they can get loose for about 180 and, and do what they need to do. But if one of them doesn't play, I don't know. I, I don't know if, I, because who knows? Does the other one, does your one back get injured? Does this new kid that you brought off of a practice squad from the Bengals, can he do anything? So I don't, you know, the long and the short is, I don't know if one of those guys doesn't play. If both of them play, yes, they can absolutely run the ball. I would say about 180 is what they can pin on Green Bay. That's a great prediction and, and very solid critiques of, of Green Bay in their inability to seemingly stop, stop the run. I think week one, it looks like they gave up 39 carries for a buck 71. Yeah. 4.4 yards yeah. average yeah. per carry. And week two, 19 carries for 108, a 5.7 yard average per carry. Yeah. It just not enough carries to make the difference uh, in week two. But you have to wonder if for the 49ers being decimated in the backfield, whether they'll have the bodies to be able to take advantage of it. I'd like to think that Almost anyone can be successful within the Shanahan system. As certainly we have seen them bring in people off the street before <laughs> that you wouldn't think have had success. And lo and behold, here they come in the Shanahan offense. As long as they understand one cut and go, then there's potential, right? Some of those uh, holes that you see created by the offensive line, which is so good at run blocking, are large enough to drive a Mack truck through, and therefore it doesn't really matter who's in the backfield. But certainly that's not always the case. And a loss like Mostert, devastating loss, certainly he's the, the uh, home run hitter and the guy that I would have expected to do most of the damage against Green Bay in looking at this matchup in the preseason. And then the the simple unknown of Trey Sermon at this point is is interesting to me. I, I felt that that first carry, he came out with a, an urgency that was too much. It, it wasn't the healthy, I'm fighting for my position. It was that desperation, I'm in the doghouse and I don't really understand how I got here and I'm just going to do whatever I can and not play within yourself, right? There's yeah. always that time where it's best to go down as opposed to take that extra shot or run into that defender who's going to punch out the ball. And it felt like what he threw himself into with that contact at the end of that first run I'm not surprised that he was injured by it. No, I, it, no. it was a brutal hit. It was multiple brutal hits and then a face plant. It, it, I, so that was tough. That was tough to watch. But I hope that he is healthy for the game. And if he is, I think we could see a breakout game from Trey Sermon because I think that his short area quickness is going to be fantastic within this offense. He may not have the home run that you're expecting Mostert to have had, but I do think that he has that 10 yard shuttle time. That's incredibly impressive. Yeah, absolutely. And and you said it, this offensive line is going to, going to open up the lanes for them to get through. 
And Kittle is certainly helping that out. The other thing they can do to help themselves out again is get Debo involved in the run game. Even Ayuk, right? You've got to mix things up. It's got to come from multiple places. Use check a little bit. You, you've just got to throw the kitchen sink at them, especially when you're only going into the game with one or you know two backs that have been on this team through training camp. So they, they've got to get creative. It cannot be that vanilla, just toss left, toss right. You, I mean, against Green Bay, they can pick up some yards doing that just because they can out-muscle them, especially along that, that left side of the line. It's absolutely ridiculous. Or anytime you throw a, a Kittle next to McGlinchey, you can make it happen, but it's not yes, ideal. You You've got to mix some things up.